How many of you can go to a pet sitting facility and get pet sitting services for less than $15 a day? Less than $15 a day. Of course, Mr. Haney raises his hand. <laughs> Mission statement. Briley to the Rescue was created to provide an affordable pet sitting service, fit a kennel, and offers a family-oriented environment. Opportunity. Charleston's population is 122,689. 75% of that population owns a pet. Over three quarters of them pay over $26 to board their furry friends at a kennel. Business profile. My business is a service business. Our legal structure is sole proprietorship. I select this structure because Riley to the Rescue is a small business. I like to use the profits for personal money goals, and also I like to use the profits for reinvesting in my business. In the future years to come, I plan to switch over to an LLC, Limited Liability Corporation, I mean company, excuse me, for many liability reasons. Target market segment. Demographics. This ranges very greatly because most everyone in my client owns a pet, obviously. So the ages range from 20 to 80. I serve to middle and upper class income. And the occupation is normally teachers, nurses, firefighters, families, and the elderly. My psychographic is that people want a high quality family environment and low price pet sink service. That's everything that Rallies and the Rescue is. Geographics. I plan to serve to the Charleston area. That includes Johns Island, Mount Pleasant, North Charleston, Wamla, James Island, and other places such as those in the Charleston area. Buying patterns. Clients use my service for their travel schedule, work schedule, and vacation schedule. I have more clients on the week weekends and the weekdays, and more clients in the summer than the winter. Competitive advantage. Riley to the Rescue charges $10 a day, whereas Dog Tire charges $22 a day, and Moonshadow charges $20 a day. The quality of service. I have been operating my business for three years. Dog Tired is an expert at what they do, same with Moonshadow. And we are all located on John's Island. Our unique factors. My business is crate free. The animals get personal attention and there is no overcrowding. I try to limit the amount of dogs I take to four to six dogs a day. Dog Tired provides a service where the business owner actually lives on the site. And Moonshadow, plays calming music throughout the day, and there are two play times a day. With my business, the dogs are free to do whatever they want. It's not two play times a day, four play times a day. It's whatever they would like to do. If they would like to come inside and take a rest, they shall. Marketing mix. For people, I will be marketing to pet owners in the greater Charleston area. My product is that we are crate free and we have a one and a half fenced in acre yard. My place is I plan to market to the greater Charleston area. And the price is my prices are 50% and frequently 75% lower than an average kennel charges. And I am taking advantage of introductory pricing to gain market cap. For promotion, I will be using referral discounts and advertising. <coughs> Promotional mix. For advertising, I will be using newspaper ads, magazine ads, and TV commercials. That will all add, add up to $50 a month. For publicity, I use word of mouth and do extravagant things to give back to the Charleston community. For personal selling, I give out business cards as I hand in one to each judge. Putting out flyers at various places, such as school, the library, and other places. And I would also like to use t-shirt designs, hats, and other visual apparel to give off my business name and title. So the total monthly promotional expense will all add up to $150 a month. The cost of labor. And my competitors, they have been using the cost of materials as well, but with Riley's the Rescue, we do not have any materials that we have to frequently buy <coughs> monthly. So I just charge by labor. My labor cost per day is $10 a day, and the time to make one unit is 12 hours. The labor cost per unit is $10 as well. Economics of one unit. For one sale, it is 12 hours of pet sitting service or pet care. For the selling price per unit, it is $10. The cost of goods sold is $2. Other variable expenses per unit, there is none. And the total variable expenses is $2. Therefore, the contribution margin per unit is $8. Are you all still with me in the back? I see some sleeping faces back there. The average monthly fixed expenses. We currently do not have any insurance or employees. And, but when I change to an LLC, the insurance rate will certainly change. For advertising, it is $20 a month. And the other, the only other average monthly expense I have is from the telephone, which is, adds up to about $55 a month. 
and other fixed expenses is my website, which is $15. Therefore, the total average monthly fixed expenses is $435 a month. Monthly sale projections. I have based this data off of my past data because I've been running my business for three years. Therefore, I have made some calculations and I came up with this. As you can see, in January, I will be making $550. In June, I will be making $6,100. And in December, I'll be making $15,500. $15, As you can see, it is a steady increase from January to December. Projected yearly income statement. For my selling price per unit is $10, as stated before. And the number of units sold based off the past data will be 1,600. The total sales is $16,000, and the variable expenses is $3,200. The contribution market is $12,800. Fixed operating expenses is $5,220. And pre-tax profit is $7,580. Taxes at 15% is $1,137. And lastly, the net profit is $6,433. Start with investments. As stated before, I am a crate-free environment, but therefore there are some situations where the animal may need to be crated, such as a newborn puppy. Therefore, I had to buy a small dog kennel at, for $86, a large dog kennel for $264, and a fencing kennel for outside pur purposes for $300, all bought at PetSmart. I had to buy six dog bowls at Tractor Supply for $30, and dog treats at Publix for $15. Therefore, it all added up to a total of $695. For my emergency fund, the emergency fund I will be using, say, if there's a hurricane, I will need to have the money to rebuild my business and start it up again. Therefore, I put $100 in the emergency fund, and reserve for fixed expenses is $120. So the total strike investment is $915. Return on sales and return on investment. For my return on sales, I came out with 40.2%. And for the return on investment, I can at 703%. Business responsibility and philanthropy. For my business responsibility, I would like to offer a high quality service to our customers in an ethical manner. For philanthropy, I'm going to support Charleston Area Therapeutic Riding. I'm supporting this business because I feel that children who do not have the ability to do things that we might not be able to should have the equal opportunity to do what we do. I will donate 5% of my annual profits. For business and personal goals, for my short-term business goals, I would like to add babysitting, tutoring, and manufacturing dog and horse work. I would also like to offer dog swim, day, swim days, being that we operate on an intercoastal waterway. I would like to increase my prices due to economical reasons in the next years to come. In my long-term business goals, I, tend, I would like to get a degree in business administration in college and achieve a vet tech degree to further my business and to a pet care referral service. For my personal short-term goals, I would like to install a pet boarding facility, which will enable me to take up to 15 dogs at a time, I believe, or more. I would also like to hire employees. And for my personal long-term goal, I would like Riley to the Rescue to operate for a number of years as a full-time job. Riley to the Rescue, the next best thing to home. Thank you for your consideration. Once again, I'm Riley Stewart, and I'm the owner and CEO of Riley to the Rescue.